Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. It says it's full coverage matte. I'm excited to actually finally try it. I was like trying to find it everywhere, couldn't find it. Finally found it at Target. I got mine in Fair Warm. And there are like a lot of mixed reviews on this concealer. Uh, some people, a lot of people are saying that it's not good for dry under eyes because it's you know, thick and cakey, and a lot of other people are saying that it oxidizes and gets darker, so you kind of have to be careful with the shade, and this is one of the lightest shades I could find, so hopefully this will work out. Just go ahead and apply it. I have already applied foundation. It's a big wand, kind of like that Clinique Beyond Perfecting and the Makeup Revolution, the new Conceal and Define. It's that bigger foot applicator. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it. Oop. Hopefully this goes well. We shall see what happens. I'm gonna be using a Real Techniques like mini sponge to uh, work that in. So let's go ahead and just pounce that in. Uh, <laughs> right off the bat, it is very, very pale and very, very pigmented. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> we will find out. I may have to apply one of my other concealers on top because I look like a raccoon. But we shall see what happens here. Go ahead and start working on this eye. Uh, yeah, so I either apply too much of this one or it is super pigmented. All right. I'm gonna say that this might not be my shade. It's a little bit too pale, but formula itself, I will say that it is a bit patchy and it is a little bit drying, but I'll just keep working it in and see what happens in a few minutes if it like dries in more. It's actually not that drying though. As I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it's not that bad. I've tried other um, concealers that are like way worse at clinging to like your under eyes and like emphasizing your lines and stuff. And this one is not super bad with that. I mean, it does a little bit, but let's be real, almost every concealer does a little bit. It is a little bit better than it was. But if you guys can see, it does do a good job at concealing. I just may need a little bit of a darker shade than this, but I'm like waiting and waiting, looking at it. It doesn't look too dry and cakey. Like some people were saying it's super drying and looking cakey around the eyes and stuff. Especially um, people that had dry under eyes said that this was a no-no. But it's not that bad as long as um, I did apply obviously my eye cream and everything this morning. So that might be helping. But I apply obviously my skincare every day. So that's a very important part. Especially if you have dry under eyes or dry eye area in general. Always apply your skincare first. It's not terrible. It does the job. I would have to wear it a few more times, but my first impression is that it's not terrible. It actually works pretty well, and it's not too over drying, like I said. It's just the shades. Just be careful which shade you pick. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the concealer with my uh, favorite powder because that's the one I usually use on a normal daily basis. So I wanna go ahead and try it out, how it's gonna work with that. It's the CoverGirl Clean Press Powder. Just going to set the under eye. Sorry guys, like seriously, the faces we make when we're doing our makeup. It's hilarious. It 
it does uh, seem to settle in to the line, your fine lines increases. But as you can see, uh, as I applied the powder, they kind of went away. So I guess that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Just set the under eye a little bit more. It looks like it blends very well. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. It does not look super drying or cakey. Um, underneath the eye, it does look a little tiny bit cakey and it is emphasizing my uh, fine lines. Just a little bit as you can see. Um, it's not terrible, but it, it is kind of emphasizing them a bit more than I would like, but it's not horrible. Um, it seems like this is a more full coverage, so if I was going somewhere, um, a party or something, and I wanted it to last longer or something, I would use this. It does emphasize fine lines slightly, so I'm not sure if I'll be grabbing this every day or not yet. We'll see. I'll um, use it a few more times and see what happens. But other than that, it's not horrible. It's a good option from the drugstore. If you do have dry under eyes or whatnot, I would obviously recommend doing your skincare, applying your eye creams and whatnot um, beforehand. I'm not 100% sure if I would repurchase or not yet, but I definitely will keep using it. And I hope you guys enjoyed trying out the new 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. with me today and leave a comment down below if you guys have tried it and what your experiences were or if you're planning on trying it as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!